here for the 27th of March. Today we're here at the Junior Store. That's right. Today we're recording from Nord. It's a special episode today. It's the last ever episode of your tune. A big thanks to all the boys for all they've done. We've got a special segment today, so look forward to that. And now it's time for the rundown. That's right. Today is Uto Day of Reflection. The Catholic Girls Athletics Carnival is next Thursday. They'll be looking to build on a strong team performance in the Catholic Co-ed Athletics Carnival, which is on Monday. Tom and Stefan will have all the details on those two carnivals. Also coming up, we have the Senior School Music Camp. And the Year 6 Camp. Yeah! These guys aren't even in Year 6, but there's the Year 7 parent-teacher <laughs> interviews also. Uh, the start of the Year 9 Canberra Tour. Of course, there's the Easter Long Weekend. Tomorrow is the annual college school fair, so come up to the senior school for rides, music, food, books, toys, and anything else? Oh, pony, rides. Pony, rides, pony rides. Pony rides. I yes. love ponies. They're awesome. <laughs> All right, now it's just sports report. Good morning, San Ignatius College. As always, I'm Stefan. And I'm Tom. Yes, uh, on Monday was the Catholic Coed Carnival. It was a great atmosphere out there, and Ignatius, we had some strong performances by Ignatius athletes. Anyone take any first places out or anything? The Open Boys Relay were able to secure first place, which is a great effort to them. Boy, oh boy, wowee, Tony Rosella surely is the world's fastest man. He sure is. Uh, overall, we did lose Mercedes, but Miss Doyle was very pl- proud of the all that. The don't like losing to those camels. No, it was a tough loss. Oh well. Also, on the weekend, we had our annual Head of the River Rowing Grace, the p- crown event of the re- rowing regatta season. The Open Girls did extremely well, coming third. So, Tom, takes us to the three votes. Who gets it this week? This week's three votes go out to Lockie Kirshner, who's currently at Nationals for rowing. This is a great achievement by Lockie, and we wish him all the best. Brilliant stuff, Lockie. Alright, that's all from us for this week's Saint Ignatius. As always, I'm Stefan. And I'm Tom. See you next time. See you later, Saint Ignatius. Bye. 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 Hello, and welcome back to Democracy, where there is still work to be done. Now I've come to the thing called the talk shop, and this is the bread line for all the juveniles, the little prisoners, go get their food to survive for the day, Mr. Bill Tatum. Now this is the line to get the food to get through the day. I will get inside this line and show the process of how to get food and actually try to survive on these small meat rations that they get. I can't believe that is very bad. Are you starving men trying to desperately get in ration? Five years and still no progress has been made. These here are the guns. They stop you from getting in and so there's no trouble. Because otherwise you could easily run in there and take more food than what you're supposed to. They call them sentinels. That is random person also suffering miserably. Now, we will go in there and see what kind of food there apparently is. Or apparently it's cold food, but I don't think it is. Now, apparently, after taking this tray, can you hit? You can hit people with it. So people what they're being fed here, I don't know what these are. This is called Sustro Bacism. It's not the kind of pie I have at home, but we do not know it could be made out of anything. It could be artificial, it could be animals. Again, we do not know. Okay, this is the final step of actually surviving one another. This is where they get it. You come to here, you give them a certain amount of money, you get food, you live. You live. Simple as that. Okay, so you see what I'm getting for? I'm getting for food. I do drink, apparently this is, I think this is motor oil, I'll use it in part, but on that, this is democracy signing up. It's exactly like motor oil, as I suspect. Hello and welcome to Ignatius Tonight. I'm Josh and we're joined by Matthias for a truly terrible performance. Oh, there you are. So what will you be making today? Today I'll be making a paper crane. I'll let Thomas handle this one. You make something that looks a little bit like this. Which is one I've heard earlier. Now, would you like to see how it's done? Sure. All right.
Then you fold the wings back down to make them flat. And then you make the beak by folding it into itself. And there you have it, on paper crane. Wow, that is very complex. Now do you want to see an even better thing? Ready? Okay. Ready, 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 ready. It, hang on. Flaps. It flaps its wings. Holy moly. This has been Ignatius tonight, and if you have any special talent that you want to be shown on Stigget, then just come to the Stigget room whenever possible. Thank you very much. Welcome to Magic Man. Today I'm here with Tim. H hello. And I'll be performing a rather violent magic trick. How uh, violent? Uh, it will involve guns. Where? I'm where where are the guns? Oh, it's okay. First, I'm going to take the Ace of Spades, the magazine, out of the deck. Oh, okay. I guess you to pick a card. All right. Anyone okay. you want. Okay, I take this one. Okay. Memorize it. Show it to the camera. That's, that's the card. Got it? Yeah. All right. The, now the I'm going to put the card in the deck about halfway. I wasn't even meant to be part of the sec, I was just walking past and then he's like, I, Hey Tim, I'm Magic Man. I'm like, how Magic Man are you, Mr. Magic Man? I am very magic. He showed me magic tricks. I do not know much about magic. Okay, now I've lost your card in the deck. You agree it's lost? Possibly, but okay. you'll inevitably know where it is anyway. Now I'm going to make a gun with the cards. Okay, got a gun. Okay. Load the magazine. Are you ready? I'm gonna fire your card out as the bullet. All right. Is this your card? That was my card, yes. But Thanks I'm for watching. But an impressive gun, disappointingly. Yes, yeah, so it was a bit of a misfire. That's all right. Um, stay tuned for more magic in the Fortnite. Thank you. I expect you to fly at some point. Okay. Today is the first Earth Hour Schools Day, supporting Australian farmers affected by climate change. Choose a lesson to switch off the lights in your classroom to support Earth Hour this year. Thanks, guys. Hello and welcome to yet another episode of Cat's Corner. I am here with the amazing Miss Pontillo and today we're going to talk about all the activities, or well, not all of them, but most of the activities that the Year 9s are going to experience this year. So Ms. Pontello, why, is, why are all the Year 9s so excited this term? What's going on? Um, they're pretty excited because I think they've only got another week of school left. Oh, lucky. So they've got tomorrow, then week 10, and then in week 11, there's no classes for them outside of Tuesday. Okay. So they're off to Canberra and the Civics and Citizenship Program. Mm. So yeah, the term is looking very short for the Year 9s. Mm, that sounds pretty exciting. Um, are there any other activities that the Year 9s are going to experience for the next few terms? Yeah, so we have, um, obviously we've got Canberra, Civics and Citizenship, but next term we've got Wellbeing Days at the start of the term, so week one, which is always great, a great couple of days for the mm. Year 9s. But then of course we've got the gender ed programs later in the year, as well as the STAR program in term four. So there's I lots love the of STAR activities. STAR program, that was the best, of, Pretty great. best, best Pretty activity great. of the year. Uh, last question, What's, are there any new activities or old activities that are going to happen in Canberra or anything that Yeah, you not really. I think the forward? highlights are always going to be the highlights. Yeah. But it is going to be a day shorter, so there's only three days in Canberra. But we'll still have the visit to the Australian Institute of Sport, which the kids oh, really like. Yes. And there'll still be the bowling night. So there'll still be the challenge for the bowling mm. night, where even the teachers get involved in that a little bit. Yes, and I'm sure the Yenons will definitely enjoy that. They will. Yes. So anyway, if you're in Year 9 and you didn't get to go to Canberra, you are seriously missing out. It is so much fun. There are so many things you can learn and enjoy. And for year th for the year eights, I just hope you have the chance to go to Canberra because I was year nine last year, and it was actually pretty enjoyable. So as always, I'm Kat. Have a good one. Bye. Hey guys, welcome to Gustafson's Gossip. So as you may have heard, the fair is tomorrow, and the fair is one of my favourite days of the year when everyone in the Ignatius community come together and create a great, lively, and fun atmosphere. So this week I'll be asking people what they're looking forward to most. What's your favourite ride? Um, probably the wipeout because I'm not much of a ride person. So the wipeout's my favourite too. The food. <laughs> fun. The food. Yes, I will certainly be at the fair. Uh, 
Um, probably just the classic hot chips for me. <laughs> Fun! Yes. Listening to all the singers. Uh, the food and the annual gathering of the Communist Party. Exciting. <laughs> Not even the Indian or the Chinese. Uh, yeah, I like the Indian, that's pretty good as well. Um, awesome. Uh, I'm a big fan of the food at the fair. And the firework. Uh, food. Uh, all the rides, they seem pretty cool. Rides. The Chinese food store, I think. Yeah, definitely. Amazing. The chips. Cool. The hurricane, yeah. I didn't know that was happening, but there it, you go. It, it, you, you, there are many things you do not know. It is, it is well kept secret. Thanks guys, I hope to see you all there. I was nine years old. Defies how witnesses say the bear escaped. <laughs> Dr. Corbett, approve memos, lead a workshop, remember birthdays. Hey guys, and welcome to the last episode of YouTube. It's been fun while it lasted, but time calls, and it's time for us to leave. Never fear, we've still got a great video for you this week. Let's have a look at the video of the Fortnite. Brings a tear into my eye every time. And now we say farewell to our favourite celebrity chef and dear friend, Ainsley Harriet. It's time for Ainsley's bit. Everybody is satisfied. Thank you for everything, Ainsley. Goodbye. Anyway, that's all we got time for, guys. Thank you to all of our loyal viewers for tuning in every week. And remember, don't tune in next time for more YouTube video goodness. Just you know why. Thanks guys, you will be sorely missed. In the wise words of Ainsley Harriet, you have been delightful. Well that's all we have time for here on The Home Group. We'll be seeing you again in week 11, the last day of the term. Until then, I'm Cynthia. And I'm James. And for everyone here at Junior School, go! Yeah!